Greetings, and welcome to another edition of AllHorseTalk.com. I'm your host, Alita Bunny Hendricks, and today is a quick and easy stable tips edition on pelleted beet pulp. This is actually a companion to our previous video on feeding your horse beet pulp, the pros and cons, and how you do it. And what I've come across is another form of beet pulp that it's very important for you to know a little bit of information about. Let me zoom the camera in a little bit. And if I uh, yeah, get quite close there to these two cans of beet pulp, you see on the right, that's the shredded beet pulp, which is what we previously fed. And on the left is a pelleted version of beet pulp. I've recently come across the pelleted beet pulp, and I actually like it quite a bit. It is more concentrated than the shreds. It stores so I can. It stores more easily. I can store twice the volume of the shredded beet pulp in the same amount of space. It's more compact and it's not dusty to to handle. So that it, when I'm shoveling out the beet pulp, it doesn't create dust. So it's a lot easier on my 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 lungs on my breathing. I really like the pelleted beet pulp. Now, it's really important to always weigh any feeds that you're feeding your horse, and this is a stellar example of why. In front of the shreds of beet pulp, you see that I've weighed it on the scale, and I always want to weigh um, my feeds on the scale so that I know exactly how much I'm feeding. And this is a two-and-a-half-pound uh, coffee can. That is, it holds two-and-a-half pounds when it's filled with coffee. Here it's filled with shredded beet pulp, which weighed two-and-one-quarter pounds. Now, when I weighed the same volume of the pelleted beet pulp, I found that it weighed twice as much. So the two and a half pound coffee can full of the beet pulp pellets actually weighed four and a half pounds. Now, that's going to be a significant difference. If someone says, oh, just feed him a coffee can of the beet pulp, ah, there's a big difference. Is it shredded beet pulp? Or is it pelleted beet pulp, which weighs twice as much? You could do a lot of damage to your horse by feeding him by volume instead of weight. The two and a half pound coffee can size of the shredded beet pulp is what I feed two of my horses for one feeding. So this would be two horses equivalent for one feeding or one horse's equivalent for one full day, split into two feedings. Over here, the same volume, although a very different weight, is what I would feed all four of my horses for one feeding or two horses for two feedings. So you need to be sure of what you're doing with that. What I'm going to do here is show you how the increased compactness or increased density of the pelleted beet pulp increases the amount of water we need to put into the, into the mixture. First, I want to show you, here is the shredded beet pulp. I'll reach in there. Here's the shredded beet pulp that has been soaked and you'll see the consistency of it. It's quite nice. This has been soaked for about three hours now and the minimum requirement for soaking beet pulp is two hours. I soak mine often overnight. Into the yellow bucket, I'm going to put the shredded beet pulp for two horses for one feeding into the bucket. And I'm going to add, here is one equivalent measure of water to the shredded beet pulp. And I think I want to add another half measure again. There we go. Now that will be plenty of water for that beet pulp to soak up. And if indeed it happens to be too much moisture, I can always pour the extra off. Now I'm going to put in two horses worth. Now remember it is only half of this can because the, vol the weight is twice the volume of the shred. Okay, and I have half left. For this beet pulp, I'm going to put in one full measure and another half measure again. So that I'm adding definitely more volume of water for the concentrated beet pulp. There was one half of a container 
full of the beat pulse, and I did one and one half measure of the water. So proportionately, there's more water involved with the highly packed, dense, highly dried beet pulp cubes. And this is what they look like when they're fully soaked and ready to feed. And again, you want to put that beet pulp up to your ear, and there's no crackling like Rice Krispies. So they are ready to feed. This has been your quick and easy stable tips on beet pulp pellets. And I'm your host, Alita Bunny Hendricks, thanking you for joining us at today's allhorsetalk.com quick and easy stable tip. And reminding you, until next time, to remember, be good to your horse and be good to yourself. Bye-bye. <laughs>